Uh, we're very excited for our next guest. He's a professional man. I know. Uh, please welcome to the stage, Southern Lawyer Eustace Leghorn. Your Honor, in lieu of my closing arguments, I have a simple question for you and the members of the jury. <laughs> You ever seen the sunset over the Ozark Mountain? The way the sky turns that color of red like the juiciest plum you ever did see? One last wink at the promise of a new day, right before she goes off to bed. Well, y'all, that's how my client feels every time he touches a child. <laughs> Now you must decide his fate. Maybe you'll find him innocent. Maybe you'll find him guilty. That's not for me to decide. That's for all y'all to decide. But let me ask you, Yana, is the river guilty of flowing downstream? <laughs> <laughs> And two boys are playing in that water, splashing around in the shallows. Is that river guilty of touching those boys? <laughs> <laughs> and if that river's mighty current washes the clothes right off their young bodies, are we gonna put that river on a registry, Yana? <laughs> Nature, Yana, that is the question. We are here to decide. Excuse me one minute. Oh! Oh, Lord, help me. Now, Yana, I should mention at this point that I did not seek out this case. Well, we don't get this kind of thing usually in Hickory Falls. You might remember my last case was when those Buchanan boys got into the apple cider again. <laughs> oh boy, that Farmer Johnson was so cross he wanted those boys run out of town. <laughs> but we calmed him down. And you sentenced those boys to a stern talking to. Because as you said in your ruling, Yana, boys will be boys. <laughs> Boys will be touched sometimes. <laughs> Trust me, y'all, there's nothing I'd rather do than scamp away from this trial quicker than a jackrabbit. <laughs> While my old idea of a nightmare used to be the Patchdale Creamery running out of butter pecan. <laughs> now it's this case. <laughs> But I can't run away, Yana, and I'll tell you why. You ever play hide and seek in a wheat field? <laughs> when you was a young man. Crops so thick you can't see nothing, so you gotta listen for Polly, hear her girlish giggle, or hear her skipping round in the crop. So you follow the sound, you see. And sometimes you find Polly. Sometimes it's that old gopher in your carrot patch. One more time. <laughs> But that's what happens, Yana, when you follow what you hear and not what you see. You see, we must find guilt before we punish it. Therefore, if a human monster walks into my office, I must find him guilt find him innocent <clears throat> until proven guilty. Just give me one more minute, Yana. <laughs> No, nah, that ain't going to do it. <laughs> now, some cases make you popular, you know. Like when I argued there could be no peach too big for the peach fist. <laughs> <laughs> Cases like this one, 
Well, let's just say I could build myself a whole new house with all the fine Georgia bricks coming through my window. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, Gianna. A clean conscience makes for a soft pillar, so you know I ain't sleeping much these days. <laughs> but Gianna, I would close by saying that men throughout history have touched boys in a certain way. Walt Disney has touched every man and woman in this courtroom with his beautiful movies that make us all feel young again. Mo uh, Mother Goose, Mark Twain have written stories, put a light in every child's imagination, a smile on their face right before they scurry off to bed. My client uses his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case here. <laughs> well, was it guilty, Yana? Uh, no appeal, no appeal, Yana. Sometimes even a loss is a win. <laughs>